Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. So the sad passing of Jackie O has rocked the internet for the past few days with different celebrities giving their condolences to her longtime partner, DC Youngfly of Wild and Out, her children, and the rest of her family. Jackie O recently was in Miami for a mommy makeover and even had a post with a doctor on his page that has since been removed. Now news is coming out about her passing and I have exclusive court documents where her doctor is currently now being sued for medical malpractice, where one of his previous patients alleges that she almost died after her lower bowel was punctured by the cannula, causing her sepsis, a low hemoglobin number, kidney failure, and mounds of other issues. We are going to get into that and so much more, but before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any news regarding this story and so much more. Now let's get back into it. So I, like many of you, were very shocked when I heard of the news of Jackie O's passing last week. Jacqueline Smith, affectionately known as Jackie O, first appeared on Nick Cannon's hit show Wilding Out in 2014, meeting her longtime partner DC Youngfly on the show in 2015. She exited the show in 2020. She's the mother of her and DC Youngfly's three children. She recently added Realtor to her resume and she's a social media influencer and entrepreneur. Jacqueline passed away at the tender age of 32, and while her cause of death has yet to be revealed, many believe her recent mommy makeover could have been the cause to her passing. Now, prior to her passing, Jacqueline appeared on Dr. Zach's page, and they both took a picture, and the caption read this, getting ready for my mommy makeover with Dr. Zach. Stay tuned to my YouTube for the full reveal. Now, this post was on Dr. Zach's page, but it's since been deleted, and all of the comments under all of his posts have been limited. According to the Los Angeles Times, Jackie O was staying at the Homewood Suites by Hilton in downtown Miami when police were dispatched. She was found unresponsive and transported to Mercy Hospital, and despite active efforts to resuscitate her, she was pronounced dead shortly before 12 o'clock midnight. Her family released a statement the day after, and it says, It is with saddened hearts we share with you that Jacqueline, a.k.a. Miss Jackie O, has passed away on Wednesday, May 31st, 2023. Our family is still processing this very tragic and unexpected loss. We ask that you please give us privacy during this time. Signed, the ex and bat family and Papa Bat. Now, Jackie recently took her daughter and her daughter's friends to go see The Little Mermaid, and she seemed pretty vibrant, happy, youthful, and most importantly, she looked healthy. So what happened? Now, I've had a few surgeries before, and I know typically before you go in to get any type of surgery, you have to make sure that your body is able to withstand the surgery. They do blood tests, glucose level checks. They want to make sure your BMI is not too high, and most importantly, they want to make sure that you're not pregnant. But with surgery, even in a perfect healthy person things can go wrong before I buy a car clothes hell even things off of Amazon I'm checking your reviews and with a doctor someone that is putting me under and has my life in their hands I'm definitely checking your reviews I'm checking to see if you're board certified I'm checking to see if any patients have died while in your care before and after pictures believe me I'm checking it all so there is a website called certificationmatters.org and on that website you can type in the name of any doctor doctor and it will tell you if that doctor is board certified or not. So I typed in his name. His name is Zachary Oka, O-K-H-A-H. -H, and I do not see that he is board certified. So when you go on the website realself.com, you can type in the name of any doctor and anyone who has gone to that doctor can put up reviews about that doctor. And on that website, it says that he is board eligible now i just want to preface this board eligible does not mean that he can't complete surgeries it just means that he hasn't passed his written exam or oral exam to become board certified and usually that means that they're younger or less experienced doesn't mean that they're not good but remember all surgeons have to be board eligible at some point 
So he's just board eligible right now. Now, I typically desire someone who is more experienced. So the time I went in for surgery, I got someone who was board certified. It doesn't have to be your preference. I'm just telling you it's mine. Now let's continue. So I looked at his reviews on Real Self. I'm the type of person, I'm going to go to the bad reviews first. I don't want to hear the good things about you. Let me see the bad things to make sure that I don't run into those types of issues. And a lot of people are saying that they had problems with their mommy makeover. They've had problems with the liposuction. He doesn't suck out that much fat. They've had problems getting in contact with him afterwards. So according to these clients, a lot of the post-op care that they were promised, they did not receive. You have to go back. You have to get checked. There have to be massages and everything that happens to make sure that those fluids don't get built up and knots occur. And it's just a lot that goes into it. Now, Dr. Zachary did sue two of the reviewers on the realself.com website stating that they were lying on him. This is defamatory information and you're causing other patients to not to want to come to me. He was suing them for $30,000 each, but he dismissed both lawsuits without prejudice, which in turn means that he cannot sue them again for the same thing. Now, there is a third lawsuit in which Dr. Oka is the one being sued. With this lawsuit, Dr. Oka worked for a company called Four Beauty Aesthetics and on September 27, 2019, it's being alleged he performed a bilateral gluteal augmentation with fat transfer and liposuction. In other words, take some fat from here and let's give it to the butt. Give me some extra junk. Now, according to the plaintiff, Mrs. Cunningham, her and her attorneys say that the defendant owed a duty to her to perform the surgery within the acceptable standard of medical care within the medical community and Four Beauty's agents employees breached their standard of care when Oka perforated plane of small bowel and caused life-threatening physical injury. And as a result and proximate cause of said breach, plaintiff has endured pain and suffering, incurred significant medical bills and expenses, undergone extreme mental and emotional anguish, and will be forced to undergo additional operations and medical procedures to recover from the harm inflicted upon her by four beauty. Immediately after her surgery, plaintiff began experiencing excruciating pain and swelling. None of her concerns were addressed by Oka or the staff at Four Beauty. Feeling neglected and ignored, patient returned to her home state. Defendants did not attempt to intervene her return home or attempt to communicate with her. Upon arriving to her home, Cunningham went straight to the emergency room at the hospital. It was there that blood work showed her hemoglobin to be at 4.7 when prior to surgery, it was close to 13. Plaintiff was diagnosed to have gone into septic shock and kidney failure after tests plane of final diagnosis was sepsis due to an unspecified organism, acute cystitis, acute febrile illness, abdominal pain, wound infection, and so forth. Upon review, Oka negligently perforated plane of small bowel with the cannula used in her procedure. Oka, instead of stopping the procedure after knowing he had acted wrongfully and negligently, continued the procedure. Oka negligently allowed the cannula to perforate Cunningham's bowel and injure her colon. Oka not only ignored the medical standard but was grossly negligent in the procedure. Due to Oka's failure to provide competent care to Cunningham, she had to present to Houston Methodist Hospital for severe sepsis, kidney failure, and many other issues. Now, they're suing for his failure to properly use the cannula and keep it in the area of desired fat to be aspirated. They're saying that he negligently allowed the cannula to perforate the small bowel and injure the colon and contaminate the flanks. That he should have allowed another surgeon to resection and treat the bowel area that eventually caused the deadly peritonitis. They're upset that he did not provide the proper post-operative care and monitoring, and he also did not monitor her blood loss. The list goes on. I read all of that to say this, when you put your life in someone else's hands, it's always going to carry a risk. I personally feel like when situations like this happen and a surgeon is under review, any further surgery should be illegal until your name is clear. They were just in court about this matter less than a week before Jacqueline's surgery day, and I just feel you owe it to your patients to not do any work on anyone else until we're able to clear your name and see that you're able to still do these types of practices. I will note Dr. Oka is innocent. They have not proven anything as far as the case with Jacqueline. However, there is an open investigation happening and I'm sure more information will come out eventually. I just wanted to give you the information that's happening with him currently 
legally. I have been praying for Jacqueline's family and most importantly, the kids to be so young and have your mother unfairly taken away from you is a pain that no kid deserves. We will keep you updated on this story as details emerge. What I need to do at this time is hear from you. What do you think about the shocking death of Jacqueline Smith, a.k.a. Miss Jackie O? Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.